Palestinian Hamas militants infiltrated several Israeli towns and cities early Saturday after firing thousands of rockets from the Gaza Strip. Their fighters killed hundreds of Israeli soldiers and civilians and kidnapped dozens of hostages. Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu warned that Israel would strongly retaliate. Scores of Palestinian civilians and fighters were killed during Operation Saturday. The Israel Defense Force is about to use all its force to destroy Hamas's capabilities. At the White House, President Joe Biden reiterated Washington's rock-solid and unwavering support for Israel. You know, when I spoke with Prime Minister Netanyahu this morning, I told him the United States stands with the people of Israel in the face of these terrorist assaults. Israel has the right to defend itself and its people, full stop. There's never justification for terrorist attacks. U.N. Secretary General Antonio Guterres strongly condemned the Hamas attacks and said he was appalled that civilians have been attacked and abducted from their homes and urged their immediate release. He called for diplomatic efforts to avoid a wider conflict. The U.N. Security Council will meet Sunday afternoon in an emergency closed-door session to be briefed on the situation. Margaret Bashir, VOA News, New York.